This week, you'll learn about the production that goes on behind the scenes when taking the perfect shot. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. Here's your host, Joe McNally. Hi, this is Joe McNally with another edition of Joe on the Road for Adorama TV. We're in the great Pacific Northwest right now and uh, love working out here. Uh, you are virtually assured of being able to work anytime you want during the day because the light's pretty much the same all day long given the predominance of clouds. But it's soft light, it's wonderful light. And we did a shot up here, it's a commercial uh, shot that will run in a wide array of magazines. And when you come across this shot, and you're flipping through as the reader, you'll stop and say, oh, well, hopefully, you know, that's a nice picture. But then you'll move on and you won't think much about it. Or if you're a photographer and you look at this shot, you say, wow, I, that looks pretty easy. You know, it's, the, it's nothing much there. It just looks like kind of a nice snap, you know, click. And at the end of the day, in its essence, it is just a click. But what I'm going to talk to you about in this little segment is kind of how much goes into that simple click behind the scenes. It's a big time commercial job and so you have to take all sorts of steps to make sure you're not interfered with. So insurance has to be taken out, permits have to be gotten, location has to be found. Oftentimes there's a location scout who's involved to find that particular piece of turf that you'll execute this picture on. Beyond that, you have the people to put in front of the camera, the talent as they're generally referred to. That comes along with lots of baggage, literally. Clothes, hair, makeup, styling. Where are you gonna put it? Well, you have to have a location vehicle so everybody's comfortable. So an RV, that RV has to have a permit, okay? And you have a bunch of people on location, even for a few hours, you gotta feed them. So there's catering involved as well. And then there's the actual gear that you use to make the picture. So what goes on behind the scenes of this relatively simple picture? Okay. It's a whole truck full of stuff. Now, this is not excessive. When you're on the road for a client and they're spending lots of money and flew in the ad agency from Los Angeles and the client from New York and the talent is gathering and all of that stuff is happening, you could end up on a commercial shoot with, you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 people. And consequently, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of money being spent to make sure that all of this happens. So if you get caught short, if you haven't got a contingency plan, it's not just a matter of having a backup, you have to have a backup to your backup. And so that's what some of this gear is, it's redundancy. But there's also things that we needed, you know, that just wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't think of when you just look at the picture and say, oh, wow, that looks like a pretty straightforward picture. For instance, um, sandbags. We bring them because they're heavy. Uh, we got, you know, 17,500 pounds of, no, we've got 500 pounds of sandbags in the back of this vehicle. Reason being, we had big light sources and we were in an open field, you know, and it just was unpredictable wind. So you have to stay safe, you have to make sure the gear is anchored. So 500 pounds of sandbags. Um, this is the latest uh, straight from uh, Paris fashions. Okay, uh, everybody's wearing them. I see them all the time in New York City. No, they're hip waders because we had to do the shot actually physically in the river. The camera point of view was in the middle of this river where we had a raft. The raft didn't exist prior to the shot. The raft had to be built. So we had to commission a carpenter and then we had to dress down the raft to make sure it was kind of weather beaten and old looking. So all of this goes into the look of the shot. And of course, the look of the shot derives from the point of view of the camera, so hence, not only myself, but the entire crew had to get hip waders. Okay, my buddy the C-Stand goes with us just about everywhere. This is one of the oldest ones we've got. Reason being, my lights were in the river too. So I don't want to take a brand new C-Stand and soak it in, you know, really kind of muddy, yuck water. So I bring my real old stuff, okay? Stuff that's been kicking around the studio for 20 years, and we use this kind of thing, 
okay? But C stands, in this instance, were big enough. What you see behind me here, these are called high rollers. Now, high rollers are exactly that. They're high. It's not something you want to use on your average job. But when you got to have your lights up high and they have to be really, really stable, which was the situation for us yesterday because the lights actually had to be planted in this riverbed, a uh, high roller is the way to go. What can I say? Again, you don't want to take them every day, but they're a real go-to piece of equipment if you want to get your lights up high and have them very stable. Now, we rented gear out here in the Pacific Northwest, so you take what they will rent you, okay? Back home, I use Avenger Grip Gear, okay? And also, I go to Adorama Rentals, because they've got a huge repository of gear that I can access, and, you know, anything I don't have, just about guaranteed they will. So, I don't use uh, the kind of knockoff sort of stuff uh, that you might get in terms of stands because in the river you don't want anything slipping or collapsing. So I go with really good gear. Uh, the, my grip stuff, as I say, is, is Avenger stuff. And also we had on that, um, on the high roller yesterday, we used my, my normal go-to lighting sources, an Elencrom Ranger, which is a really durable field unit, 1100 watt seconds. It was plugged into a 74 inch Elencrom Octa reason I use that big, big light source was it's soft and it matches the existing quality of light, which is cloudy. So some of this uh, might seem kind of high tech, but we also combine it with really basic lighting principles and low tech stuff, okay? This is a tri-grip reflector, okay, a big one. You can see it's kind of been around the block and sometimes you really just have to sacrifice your gear. This thing was basically laying in the water yesterday, so it's soaked. It smells bad, all that sort of stuff, but when you're in the river and you got, you know, a couple dozen people flying around and everybody wants a picture, you know, you just do what you have to do. So I hope this was kind of fun. Simple picture, truckload of gear. What I was trying to show here is no matter how simple the shot, sometimes it is just like go click. Other times, even if it appears simple, there's tons of stuff going on in the background and lots of wheels spinning from everything from official permits right through location vehicles, you know, rental vehicles, rental gear, okay? All of it funnels down to those few minutes at the lens where you have the talent and the light and the action and everything is working for you. And that's hopefully where you get to on a job like this. And it turns around and here's the thing. You've, if it looks effortless, and this picture actually does. When you see it in the magazines, it'll be kind of, oh wow, that's just a nice picture. If it looks effortless and you don't see the sweat and labor and all the gear behind you, then as a photographer, you've done your job. Because your job is really to communicate to the reader in as simple a way as possible, no matter what you have to do to get that simplicity on the pages of a magazine. So I hope this has been fun. Once again, Joe McNally, Joe on the Road for Adorama TV. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day. Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.